Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm another XYZ and welcome back to another club banger. And today we're in R slash gatekeeping. And for those of you who don't know, gatekeeping is when someone takes it upon themselves to decide who does or does not have access or rights to a community or identity. Uh, if that sounded really articulate, it's because I stole it straight from the gatekeeping subreddit sidebar. So there's that. Let's hop right into these people. Straight up gatekeeping. It's so disappointing to see them bring it back. If you weren't alive when this first came out, you don't deserve to taste the true deliciousness that is Szechuan sauce. But now, every arrogant, annoying child who only know about the sauce from Rick and Morty can have it, even though they don't deserve it. Uh, bro, it's it's sauce. Um, it's literally just a McDonald's chicken nugget sauce, bro. Who cares um, if Rick and Morty even brought it back? Because... You wouldn't have known, the deliciousness would have never come back if it weren't for the homies at Rick and Morty making it such an integral part of the last episode of, it was like season one, right? Yeah, how many seasons of Rick and Morty are there? I tuned out after halfway through season two. I didn't even know there was a season three coming out. Is season three a thing? Is Rick and Morty still a thing? But that being said, it's nugget sauce, y'all. Get the fuck out of here. People born in 1999. People born from 2000 to 2003 that grew up with the exact same things. This is so true. Only 90s kids will remember push-up pops. Only 90s kids will remember Orbit's soda. Only 90s kids will remember Pepsi Blue. But this is definitely a mentality that I see pretty much in every, like, only 90s kids will remember posts. Even though people from about 2000 to 2003 had very similar experiences, if not some of the same experiences that 90s kids had. So, technically, since I was born a little earlier than the 90s i would actually be considered an 80s kid uh but that being said y'all it don't matter when you were born as long as you had the same experiences together it doesn't really matter i'd rather he beat me in call of duty or battlefield and i can't stand those games if a guy told me up front he's a nintendo guy i'd have to reconsider dating him i never want to meet you nintendo is life lol couldn't agree less any adult male still playing nintendo console should turn in his balls we don't stand any Nintendo slander or toxic masculinity on my post. My post, post, words, fuck. Jeez, y'all. This one is just, I, I like Nintendo. <laughs> so apparently I gotta go turn in my balls now. I gotta turn in my balls because your boy like a few Nintendo games. The Smash Bros, the new Smash Bros, how fire. This how fire. The person saying this, obviously can't find joy in their life i mean a video game is a video game regardless of what you're video gaming on and what you're playing even if you're playing mobile games bro you're still a gamer everybody starts somewhere everybody enjoys different things who cares get over it seen at a gun show this weekend if you voted for obama we don't want your business because you're too stupid to own a firearm uh i'm just gonna go ahead and say uh lol what <laughs> i mean i I get that they're trying to be funny and like edgy and like, look at us, uh, Obama wanted to take away our guns. Um, I hate to be political when I say this, but uh, Obama didn't take away anybody's guns, y'all. Uh, people still have firearms in the United States. So if Obama's goal was to remove firearms from the human consciousness, he did not, he was not successful. So it's not like it matters anyway. Don't call yourself a king if you've been circumcised. Your crown was taken at birth. The fuck? <laughs> what is what it's at this is ridiculous i mean obviously you don't i this I, I i just can't fathom a response for this like you don't have control over that like if your parents get you circumcised you know some people are for it some people are against it it's such a weird gatekeeping thing too it's kind of like a weird flex it's like i have my foreskin if you don't have your foreskin you can't be a king <laughs> look at me look at my foreskin <laughs> She wants the, and for those of you, I, I think everybody gets it. She wants the D. He's hitting, he's hitting the D, D key there. Piano. People who don't know the piano notes must be so confused. Son, sit down with your sense of music superiority. Literally everyone gets the joke. Yeah, I mean, you could just tell by the context. She wants the, it's got to be something with a D. <laughs> I mean, it's the only thing. I mean, it's, 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 it's a meme, man. All you have to do is put, she wants the, and whatever image you show is correlated with the letter D. It's just got to be like that. If not, you're an idiot. Real nerds know why this is funny. Julius Caesar pencil holder. Um, anybody who took a, like a history class at all in the course of ever knows why that's funny. So why is it only that real nerds would know why it's funny? 
And why does it have to be nerds that would know it's funny? Specifically history nerds, maybe, but even then, this is all stuff that's taught to you in like grade school just coming up. Sorry, just not even good gatekeeping. This one's pretty funny because this hits me at home because I do play D&D pretty regularly. I was actually on the Capeless Crusaders podcast last night playing D&D. Um, so this for me is pretty relatable, but still, you stepped on a Lego, that's adorable. It's a four-sided dice that's typically used for Dungeons and Dragons or any other tabletop game that requires a four-sided die. And honestly, I would take stepping on that over stepping on a Lego, because I think Legos are still significantly more painful. So to the D&D person who posted that, I mean, congratulations on your carpet being hella clean, but just bad gatekeeping, bad gatekeeping. Ridiculous. Accept black chocolate and become an adult. Milk chocolate is for babies and people who love sugar, not chocolate. Yo, it's still got chocolate in it though. <laughs> It's like saying that people, like one of the things that irritates me the most about coffee culture is that like, if you don't drink black coffee, you don't like coffee. I mean, I like, I, I used to work at Starbucks and I mean, I, I guess, you know, Starbucks isn't real coffee or whatever, but I would still get like people at work who would say that like, oh, I can't believe you drink a Frappuccino every now and again. Sometimes it's fun to deal with some sugar, you know, sometimes sugar's nice. Sometimes you need a little bit of that sweet, sweet, some of that sweet, sweet sugar up in your life. I mean, sometimes you just need it, man. And people are gonna like different things it's whatever but gatekeeping when it comes to chocolate i mean you should probably get over that real soon anytime i see a british person acting like a thug it sort of cracks me up like come to any city in the usa and they'd probably be pissing their pants when they when they met real thugs <laughs> and then the comment underneath that my thug could beat up your thug imagine being proud of living with worse people weird flex but okay so true thugs are thugs regardless of where you go People's life experiences are gonna be different. We may see our thugs as more thuggy than other thugs in the USA, but it doesn't even matter. <laughs> like, it really doesn't matter. And this next one is a case of the people who own this dog being gatekeepers, but here we go. Real dogs don't ride in purses. And it's on a very cute dog. Look at him. Oh God, that's a cute boy. I wanna pet him so bad. Just look at his cute face. But. Every dog's a real dog. I mean, I've had chihuahuas that I've loved dearly. Though for the people who are members of my family, RIP to the dude Tucker. He was a real G. He was a Jack Russell Terrier chihuahua mix. And now I have a dog who's sitting on the couch right now named Buddy. Hi, Buddy. How are you? He's completely uninterested, but he's a pit bull Akita mix. And dogs of different varieties have different purposes, obviously. But, I mean, dogs are dogs, man. They're They're cute. Just pet them. You know, don't don't gatekeep for them. Unpopular opinion. People who don't need glasses should not wear fake ones. We have to pay $200 plus just to see crap around us. We have actual sight disabilities. And then there's people who go and buy $10 fake glasses so they can be trendy or hipster. Just because you look good in them doesn't mean you should buy them. If you really want glasses, go stab your eyes or look into the sun for three hours and pay over $200 for the ability to see. And as a guy that wears glasses, I've definitely felt this in the past, but I got over myself because if you wanna wear glasses just because you like the way they look, then go for it. You know, whatever makes you feel better. At the end of the day, it's all about being positive. And like, yeah, I may wear glasses for my vision, but I mean, sometimes people just look in glasses, man. I mean, that's cool. Do you, man, do you. As long as it doesn't hurt other people, you know? As long as it doesn't hurt, kill, maim, or destroy anyone else, you can wear glasses, whatever glasses you want, man. Are they real? Maybe not, who cares? Now this next one I did, and I listened to the audio on it on the first time that I went through, and when I did the clapping in this, uh, it threw my audio levels all the way off, so I'm just going to say it and just imagine that there's claps in there. Don't say you are a gamer if you can't shove a PS4 up your ass. Just, what? <laughs> that would caught me way off guard because it's obvious that like whoever made this is just being silly and is being a fake gatekeeper like it's a satirical post but i mean it's still pretty good it's still pretty funny shit if you have a cat you aren't vegan uh why does that even matter because i mean i get that like people who are vegan tend to stay away from those kind of things but at the same time cats can't be vegan cats have an evolutionarily need have an evolutionary need to eat meat like it should be part of their diet so for us, we have a choice, right? For cats, they really don't. 
So how is it not being vegan if you own a cat? And I get a cat has to eat meat byproducts, but a cat doesn't have a choice, whereas we do. And vegan is something that appears, at least right now, is defined by the fact that it's a choice. But hey, that's just me. If you don't watch a series entirely, you're not a true fan. If you do watch a series entirely, you are not a true fan. You are only a true fan if you are powered by electricity, have multiple flat blades, and spin around really fast. <laughs> oh God. Oh man, I, I coughed on that one, but oh yeah, I'm still getting rid of this head cold, y'all. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm, I'm cresting the end of it, so hopefully I can get back to doing creepy PMs and doing my monster voice again. But this one, this one's just funny. It's good times, good times. Just in, police say 22-year-old Davis police officer who was sworn in two weeks ago died in the shooting. And I mean, anytime somebody dies, regardless of what they are or who they are, um, I think it's life should be valued equally for everyone. And I just think that it sucks that this person def that this person died in a shooting. That's why you never send a woman to do a man's job because men are bulletproof, right? Yikes! That is a good example of just more gatekeeping, right? I mean, women should be able to do whatever a job, whatever jobs a guy can do. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people out there who think that like that there are jobs that are built for men, et cetera, et cetera. I I think if you want to do something, you should just aspire to do it and just be the best you can at it. And I don't think whatever bits you have on you determine whether or not you'd be good at that job. I mean, just real talk. And I'm going to go ahead and end it on that one, guys. I just want to say thank you everybody for 1000 subscribers. I just hit that mark literally like a day or two ago. And it's just been the response to these videos has been absolutely amazing. And I want to let you guys know that I'm also still taking anti MLM and uh, creepy PM uh, posts. So if you want to send me your personal anti MLM or essentially creepy PM posts, go ahead and send them to me on my Instagram at another XYZ. Drop me a DM. You could be in the next video. And remember guys, no glove, no love. Peace.